my 7.1 demo site and I'll show you today how to change these blog thumbnail images. I have another video on the same topic, but Squarespace in July 2020 rolled out an update to the menus. So things look a little different. So I want to show you with their new user interface how to do this. So I'm here, I've clicked on blog in my pages, and you can see each one of these posts has a thumbnail image. Now if I click on the post, you'll see that there isn't an image here in the post. If there were, it would be independent of that thumbnail. Those are not connected. So how do we change the thumbnail images? Let me click on blog here, and you can see that we have post one, two, three, four. And to swap out these thumbnail images, I'll want to edit the post. I could click on it here, or I could click on one of these posts and click edit here. That gets you to the exact same place. Now, once you're here inside the post and you clicked edit, you can either click on the title or on this gear icon in the upper right, and that will open your blog post settings. On your content menu, you can change the status from published to draft, or schedule it, or send it to the review queue. But if you click on options, this is where we can add that thumbnail image. So you'll see that I have the standard Squarespace thumbnail image here. I'm gonna remove that. And I'm going to add an image from my computer. I've already optimized an image to add here. If you want to add an image on your Squarespace website anywhere, I always recommend to optimize your images both for file name and file size. That can have an effect on your search rank in Google and it's a better user experience. If you have questions about that, I'll link, put a link below to my Squarespace image optimization course if you'd like to check that out. So here I've added my thumbnail image under options. And you can also do things like change the blog post URL here. So if I wanted to call this plant care, I could do that here. You can change your author. And you can also change the source URL if you're, if you're pulling this blog post in that was published elsewhere. I wouldn't recommend doing that. We want to create unique content here on our Squarespace website. So we would leave that blank. And if you want to show an excerpt on that blog page, you would type that out here. So on your blog landing page, we have the title, and you can have an excerpt that shows underneath, and you can choose to show or hide that. I have another post on those settings, so I'll put a link to uh, another video to those settings, so I'll put a link to that video below as well. All right, so let's click Save, and you can for sure add images here in your post too. They just don't affect your thumbnail image. So if I wanted to add an image here in the post, I just click the insertion point, this droplet, and then choose image and add it just like I was adding an image anywhere on Squarespace. But I'm going to not do that. And now since we've updated those blog post settings, I want to go to done and save. Now we don't see anything here yet, but if I refresh this page, what we'll see is we'll see that new thumbnail image show here. There we go, there's our new thumbnail image. And when we go back to our pages and click on our main blog page, you'll see the thumbnail image reflected here. And if you wanna change around these settings, if you don't wanna show a date or the excerpt, I'll put a link to that video below as well. I hope that this video was helpful. Best of luck with your website.